for many in South Africa, the global pandemic has come and gone. The people of Europe may be living under tough new restrictions, but some residents in Johannesburg are feeling less restrained. Life is better now than last of last month, like since uh, May, June, July. Four months ago, a massive outbreak swept through this country, infecting hundreds of thousands of people. Then, quite unexpectedly, the level of infection plummeted. Scientists were puzzled. Some were using masks and social distancing, but it didn't explain the drop. The only biologically plausible way for this virus to have subsided is that there's been some sort of herd immunity that's been reached, but in the context of the use of non-pharmaceutical interventions. In June, scientists started testing for the virus in blood samples given at local clinics and they were stunned by what they found. In Cape Town, up to 44% of those tested had been infected with the virus. Were you surprised by the data? I'm totally surprised. And even the modelers themselves never modeled for one third of the population getting infected. Let's go, let's go. When South Africa imposed its lockdown back in March, it worked inadvertently to accelerate the spread of COVID-19. Social distancing proved impossible in many densely populated districts. The strict level five lockdown in this country was basically a failure. It didn't seem to stop the spread of COVID-19 at all. But that failure had a completely unexpected benefit, which has left South Africa in a much better position now. Professor Mahdi believes 12 to 15 million people may have developed some immunity through repeated exposure to the virus. And that may help South Africa avoid a second wave. But if the rate of infection does spiral, he wouldn't recommend a strict lockdown. The response needs to be much more nuanced rather than just simply believing that a level five lo or highly restrictive lockdown is going to get rid of the virus under no circumstances is a lockdown on its own going to achieve elimination of the virus. In South Africa, at least, there are some who are ready to celebrate a return to relative normality. John Sparks, Sky News, Johannesburg.